Hello everyone, breaking news, NIO Robotaxi revolutionizes industry dynamics. Unearthed conversations from top management highlight a seismic shift poised to impact sales and pricing. The discourse emphasizes NIO dominance over Tesla, marking a pivotal moment in the future of autonomous transportation. Breaking news, NIO Robotaxi surpasses Tesla. Today, we delve into critical leaked conversations from the top management that will significantly impact future sales of price adjustment. This implies a crucial aspect for the future when robotaxes need to recharge. While some may argue that Tesla is ahead in the robotaxi game, the clear fact is that even when Tesla robotaxes run out of charge, someone still needs to plug them in. Are they bringing in a fleet of people just to charge cars? This human intervention is a drawback where NIO outshines Tesla. A compelling question arises. Is a robotaxi feasible for Tesla? Considering the need for charging Tesla cars and the potential difficulty in deploying robotic arm chargers and fitting existing superchargers, it poses a challenge. In contrast, NIO boasts approximately 2,000 swap stations, with almost 80 to 90 percent being Gen 2 or higher. This means they are ready for unmanned swap operations. No human involvement, no interference. This to set up envisions a future where a car owner can comfortably rest at home while their car functions as a robotaxi. If the charge depletes, there's no need to worry. The car will go for a swap autonomously. No human intervention required. On the other hand, Tesla robotaxi scenario involves contemplating the inevitable depletion of charge perhaps not as distant as one might hope. The car would need to return home for charging, adding complexity to the process. In terms of infrastructure usability for a robotaxi fleet, NIO is undeniably ahead. That's the bottom line. I believe that you are already aware that in America, companies like Waymo are involved in robotaxis, and similarly in China, companies like BYD are operating robotaxis. Some of their cars are also functioning as robotaxis, so this is quite common, and undoubtedly, this path is also suitable for NIO. Having LiDAR in the car is an advantage, and it is also beneficial for Gen 3 swap stations. Remember that there is also a LiDAR sensor in the swap station, so it can assess if there are any obstacles or issues around the car. Everything is fine, and the swap can happen without any human assistance, which in my opinion is excellent. Clearly, you can understand that this is the next level, right? No human assistance required. It's much better than Tesla. That's why companies like Chang'an and Geely have also decided to invest in this technology, because this tech is truly remarkable. Other players like Mercedes, Porsche, everyone is interested in it, because when you show them this, it's the next level. Many are asking how much money can be made from this, and I want to make it clear that I am not affiliated with NIO. I am going to highlight the worst case scenario for NIO stock just to show that I am not associated with NIO. But some people have asked, what does NIO gain from these deals? Interestingly, they haven't provided any specific numbers yet. They haven't explained how they will conduct swap deals based on the numbers but they will build on the existing battery swap patents of NIO and provide battery swaps for all cars. This simply means that NIO will earn money from deploying these swap stations. Okay, if they build a swap station, NIO will have to pay a little for using their patents or directly purchase different swapping parts from NIO. In the future, whenever a swap occurs, NIO will get a share of that revenue. So one thing to keep in mind is that NIO is already the largest auto company. I want to emphasize this in simple words. It is already the largest auto company with the most chargers. All right, we're not delving into a comparison of charging companies because some companies have more chargers than NIO. However, in terms of the automotive industry, NIO is leading with the highest number of chargers. So already on the charging front, NIO is ahead of its competitors. However, the swap station is not included in this metric. Without this metric, one can imagine that in the future, NIO will become an energy behemoth, not just in charging, but also in swapping. The fact that 80% of revenue comes from the charging business compared to other brands indicates that in the future, 
They aim to generate significant revenue from battery swapping as well, perhaps even more than others. This implies that their intention is to become a dominant player in both charging and swapping. It's challenging to put a number on how much revenue this will bring to NIO, but remember, the next point is the leaked conversation. As mentioned, there's a leaked conversation from Dr. Shin, the head of NIO PowerSwap. In this leaked conversation, he was asked if there could be any changes in battery price and base pricing. He answered yes, but he did not specify the direction. This is quite intriguing and provides an opportunity for speculation. In my opinion, this mostly indicates a hint towards a price decrease, as in my view, the battery cost has always been somewhat high, and base payments are also relatively high. The base in China is entirely different from the base in Europe. In Europe, the base is integrated with the battery swap, whereas in China, you only need to rent the base. These are two different things, so many people in China have not chosen the base because they feel it's not suitable for them. And there in China, sales reps are also telling people not to choose it just because, for various reasons. If you try to sell it in the market of the other hand, it will be very difficult to sell the car. So my thinking is that prices might be adjusted downward, monthly payments might be reduced. These cars will become much more affordable. And along with the battery fee, the cost of the battery might also decrease. So it will be cheaper, and it will be available for more people. The car price will remain the same, but the battery will be changed. This is another way to intelligently lower prices. Okay, because NIO has always said that we will not lower prices. Last time they ended the free battery swap and said if you want a free battery swap, you can deposit that amount, and that will be the same original price. Now they can say that the battery has become cheaper, or the base fee has become cheaper, but the car price is the same. So this is a very smart way to reduce prices, and I know that sales are not very good. So it will be a very smart move for NIO to reduce the base price. I expect a lot from it, so this will also create some demand for NIO and force people to buy their cars. How much will the price decrease? I don't know, I don't believe. My guess is that there might be a 20 to 30% decrease in battery cost and also in the base cost. This would be quite good in my personal opinion, maybe reducing it from 980 to less than 700 every month. It will be quite good, not too much, but quite decent. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.